Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to give a brief overview of how to configure both Pythagoras as well as our open source code GPT Pilot. If you're a Pythagoras user, inside of the directory where Pythagoras is installed, there will be a subdirectory called GPT Pilot. Inside of that GPT Pilot directory, there's a file called config.json. For Pythagoras Pro users, you don't need to make any changes to this config.json file. It's already set up for you to be ready to go and start building an application. Our engineering team has already done extensive testing on all the different models that are available from the different LLM providers. And we make sure that Pythagoras Pro is already using the most advanced and most efficient LLM models available on the market. So you don't need to make any changes. You can simply click the create new app button and get ready, start building your application. Pythagoras Pro is what we recommend for the majority of our users who simply wanna start building an application and get up and running. That's whether you're a software engineer, you work in DevOps, you're a PM, you work in QA or whatever your job title is, if you simply want to build your own application or build perhaps some internal tools for your job, Pythagoras Pro is going to be the best option for you. For other users of both Pythagoras who are, want to use their own API key or for open source users who are running GPT Pilot either inside of Pythagoras or via the command line, you will have to make some changes to that config.json file. So Pythagoras users, as I mentioned, will have the config.json file in installed directly inside of that GPT pilot directory, where, wherever you installed Pythagoras. And if you're cloning the GPT pilot repo from our open source GitHub repository, you can use the example-config.json file as a template for your config.json file. What you'll do with the config.json file is you're going to modify it to add in your own API key from your preferred LLM provider, as well as modify the default agent and potentially any other agents with the models that you want to use from those different LLM providers. And just as a friendly heads up, your preferred LLM provider will likely charge you for usage of using their API if you're adding an API key. So first thing you want to do, as you can see up here in this test config.json file, you want to modify this LLM section with the LLM property. Here, there's both OpenAI and Anthropic listed. If you want to add in an API key for OpenAI as an example, you'll modify this API key property, change it from null, and add in your API key there. Next, you'll also need to update the base URL property from null to add in the base URL from your preferred LLM provider. And I'll link below in the description of this video with links so you can see with our help documentation how to get those base URL and how to configure the rest of this as well. Next, after you update the LLM provider section, you'll need to update the agent section of the config file First up, you have the default agent section, which here you can see is OpenAI as a provider and a model is a GPT model. Whichever model you use for the default agent, all the other agents that are available will default back to this default model unless otherwise specified. Then if you have an addition, any additional agents listed below the default section, you can override the default for a specific model. For example, for the CodeMonkey agent, if you want to use a different model than the default just for that one specific agent, you can do that. And you can see here on, on this example config file that the default uses one model from OpenAI and CodeMonkey uses a, a, a different model for that specific agent. Once you finish updating the LLM property, as well as the agent property for the different agents, make sure you save the config.json file and then restart VS Code so all the changes can propagate and, and update ex and the extension. If you're using GPT Pilot and you're using the open source code, you're not gonna have a config.json file installed by default. But what you can do is 
inside of the repo, you'll have an example dash config.json file. And you can use this as, like I said, you can use this as a template to create your config.json file. And just be sure whenever you're done updating your config.json file, remove any of the LLM providers that you're not using. And then also be sure if you duplicated the example-config.json file, be sure to remove all of these comments before you save the file. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any feedback, or if you're stuck getting set up during this process, head on over to our Discord server and we're happy to help you out. Just let us know where you're stuck and we're here to help. Anyway, thanks for watching and happy coding, everyone.